Welcome back to Hands On History. It's early morning and we're about to drill for oil with Gray Wolf Rig 754. It's a state-of-the-art diesel electric rig with a 1500 horsepower engine, capable of drilling nearly 20,000 feet underground, a distance unimaginable at the dawn of the oil age. To see how we're doing, I stopped by the logging office where the samples from the bottom of the hole were being analyzed. Hey, Mike. Hi, Rob. How you doing? What you looking at? Well, I'm looking at our last sample here. Would you like to take a look? Yeah, this is uh, material that was taken from the uh, mud that was pumped up. Yes, um, I believe our last depth was uh, 11,006. So what am I looking at here? Are you looking at about 70% shale, 30% sand? That's the flat stuff. Is the shale? Uh, the the splintery pieces that are light gray. Yeah, yeah. That's the shale. Okay. So is shale a good thing to be into at this point? Uh, yes, sir. We're, that's what we need at this point. We're looking for a uh, thick layer of shale to act as cap rock to put to allow hydrocarbons to pool. And what is, what is this document here? This piece of paper. Uh, this is our mud log, and it's basically it's a map of the hole. With the top up here. This is the top of the hole oh, here. Yes, sir. That's this where we started. Bottom? Mike showed me all the different measurements and scientific indicators that today are used to determine whether a well has enough gas or oil to be profitable. Is that sort of the modern day equivalent of a gusher? Well, sir, to be honest with you, there's a lot more things involved, but uh, those are good indications, but in this business, nothing's guaranteed. So, so far, so good. It, lo it looks good. <laughs> 